We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. Leclerc, Sainz and George Russell. With qualifying complete, all that remains now is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Welcome one and all. We're in for a real treat at this classic circuit here today. The crowd are ready to go. The cars are ready to go. We're just about set for lights out. Welcome to the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest track in Formula One. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some close action. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Russell, Perez, Max Verstappen and Hamilton. Fernando Alonso, Norris, Ocon and Daniel Ricciardo. Bottas, Sonoda, Pierre Gasly and Magnussen. Stroll, Vettel, Guan Yu Zhou and Mick Schumacher. Albon and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix.
Why is the race win? You've been amazing today, mate. You deserve that. Well done. Here we are then, a thoroughly deserved win in Italy after another excellent Grand Prix. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Here come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Mick Schumacher gets my vote today. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us and we'll see you for the next one.